Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. The agenda of this video tutorial, we are going to run C and C++ program inside Visual Studio Code on Mac OS X Catalina. In front of you, this is a Visual Studio Code workspace. Now, what we have to do, click on this gear icon. Go to the extensions. Click on it. And you will see on the left hand side a search box. Just type C and C++. C forward C++ or C++ and then you will get some results. Select the first result in which Microsoft is mentioned. This plugin is provided by the Microsoft so we are going to install this one. This will support IntelliSense debugging and code browsing for C++. Click on this green install button. Within 3 seconds this will be installed on your system. And you can see this uh, plugin is enabled globally. On the bottom side you can see some installation stuff is in progress and these are the supporting environment for the C and C++. This has been taken care by the Visual Studio Code. Don't worry about that. Let it complete. Now we will install the another plugin. Again type in the search box code run and then you will get result and select the first one code runner. Okay, this is the orange icon dot run and you will see the details of this. This can help you for run C, C++, Java, PHP, Python, Perl, Ruby, Go, Lua, Groovy, PowerShell, CMD, Bash, C, Sharp, VB script, TypeScript, CoffeeScript, Swift, Julia, Crystal, a lot more stuff. Now click on the install for the installation. Within seconds, this will be installed. So guys, after the installation, make sure you need to install restart your Visual Studio code. Otherwise, Code Runner plugin will not work properly. So we will take a restart of Visual Studio code. Now again, we will open the Visual Studio code. Then we go back and we will create one folder on the desktop. Now I'm giving this to a name C, C++ projects. Okay, now in the workspace, this workspace is anonymous. Now I will save this workspace to a particular location so that I will identify that all my projects created in a different workspace. I will save this as my C workspace or C++ workspace inside that folder. So you can select the folder by choosing the drop down, go to the desktop and on the right hand side you can see the down arrow, click on it that will open the browse window for you. So you can select your project folder. Select this folder and save your workspace inside it. And uh, the workspace name is given. Now we need to add a folder for the project. So go to the file menu, then come at this place, select add folder to workspace. At right this place, we will create a folder. Why we are creating this folder? We are creating this folder for saving our project files. Suppose you are working in two different kind of projects. So you can create two different folders and save your project file inside that. That will differentiate your both projects. So I have created this project folder and this is added. Now you can see the hierarchy workspace. Then expanding the tree, you will get this CPP project folder. Now I will create a file that will go inside the CPP project folder. Okay guys, so this is the workspace now going to create. Click on this icon of the file. At this place you can give the name of your file. So I am giving the name first cpp project dot cpp. I hope you guys are aware about this cpp. This is the extension of C++ file. Now the file is created but nothing is written inside it. Now we have to write some program lines then we will compile and run it. So I'm going to paste it simple statement that will print hello world on the console. So this is the C++ syntax and only one out statement that will print something on the console. So I have done the changes so I will show you the compile and build activity. Okay guys now file is saved. Go to the right hand side and click on this run code button. There is a shortcut key as well appearing on the parenthesis. 
click on it okay now you will get the result inside the output area okay this is for this program that uh, do not need to uh, take any input from the user in case you are creating a program in which you want to read some input from the user that means user has to type something in that case this output console will not work we have to do a small change for that program so i will tell you what kind of change we have to do this is the important thing please watch it carefully so i will write a program that will receive some input from keyboard and that will print on the console okay that is not possible at this output place we have to do a small change go to the code and go to the preferences click on this settings option and this setting tabs with some details will appear in front of you now come at the extensions and uh, on the right hand side there are some relevant properties of uh, the three menu items so we have to select run code config and the relevant properties will appear on the right hand side so just scroll down and look for uh, the property run in terminal so we have to enable it check this box and uh, this will be saved or just press windows and save button s button now the program will be executed on the terminal window okay so the exact scenario that i am going to show you so uh, the new program is going to read a number from the terminal and that read number will be print back on the terminal so this is the program that only work with terminal okay guys program is ready now i'm going to run it click on this uh, run code button and you will see enter an integer and this is asking to enter some integer value so just type any number press enter and you will get the output because uh, statement 12 is executed so guys this is the basic program for the read and write i hope you guys found uh, this video tutorial relevant and useful please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help